Well, hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to My Story, God's Glory podcast right here on your favorite podcast station and on YouTube. Listen, I'm so excited. We are back. We've been away for a while, but we are back and we're back every Friday with a new podcast for you guys. And um, right here on the Sister Story Sessions YouTube channel. And like I said, on Apple, iHeart and Spotify. So make sure you catch us, make sure you share us, make sure you download it. Listen, I am so excited because you know, we've been talking, we're talking about authors uh, for the next few weeks. We're talking to authors, female authors, sister authors. <laughs> and <laughs> I have the pleasure of interviewing my friend, my freshman year. She was one of my first friends, one of my first college friends. <laughs> doctor, <laughs> doctor, 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 Dr. Michelle Boyce. I am so happy to have you, Michelle. Thank you. I'm so honored to be a part. Oh, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> we were riding buddies and we, we did everything together back then. Yes, we did. Years. We were tight. Yes, and, uh, yes. To see all that God has done in your life is such a blessing. I know you have a glory story and uh, I can't wait to hear it, hear your journey. But uh, I just want to tell you all a little bit about her and then we're going to get into <laughs> so you can hear about these two wonderful books that she's written. Um, uh, I mean, two. I mean, she's written two books. This is so great. <laughs> so one, the first, one is first girl, daddy's oldest that is oldest her mem memoir and then life essential seminar course which is phenomenal i'm just telling you if you're in, working with young people or whatever you need to get this book you need to get this course this book and and yeah she needs to train people she's she's just <laughs> awesome but let me tell you about it she, dr michelle boyce is an entrepreneur she is a true bluff city girl raised as a pk a preacher's kid and the oldest of four siblings. She always had the vision to motivate, support, and provide that engagement piece that seemed to be a missing part of her community. Guess what? She is doing just that. Dr. Boyce published her dissertation with ProQuest in August 2021, titled First Year Seminars with Academic Advising for First Year College Students, which provided extensive research for improvements to the field. This led way to Dr. Boyce publishing two additional books. The first book she wrote was a memoir of her life growing up as a preacher's kid titled Church Girl, Daddy's Oldest. Uh, she references when things seem tough and she, she was able to push through and realize how God loves her just for who she is. The second book is titled Life Essentials Seminar Course. This was written because the research that showed that almost all people should consider ways to improve time management organizational and resiliency skills to increase productivity. Dr. Boyce currently serves as an adjunct professor at a two-year college in Nashville, Tennessee, where uh, she's working to inspire the younger generation and older to persist and accomplish their goals. She is a licensed financial professional who educates people on the importance of getting their finances in a better place. She is also, she does so much y'all. She's also a certified CPR first aid, BLS instructor and licensed notary. Dr. Boyce serves as the CEO and president of both nonprofit organizations of Up Academy Plus uh, and A1 Eagle Logistics, both established to make a difference within her community, promote growth and create change that can lead to success. Her motto is finish strong. Yes. Listen, yes. girl, yes. you are doing yes. a good thing. <laughs> All that just was just <laughs> right here, all that you've done. So, like, how do you get to do all of that? That's my question. How do you get to do all that? <laughs> what brought about all this? Oh my gosh. Well, just just I mean, just doing what I do, it just encouraged me to finish strong. Um, just being an educator, um, helping the young people, and just always had a I just had a mind and a heart. To give back to my community, to my community. So I always was trying to figure out what can I do, what can yeah. I do, what can I do. So of course it led way into what I'm doing currently. So it's just been a blessing, and I know it's God that's giving me the strength to do what I do. So I'm excited for what He's doing and for what He's going to do, and the lives that's going to be changed this by the work that I'm doing. 
Amen to that. Amen to that. Well, you know, my 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 children, uh, when I was married um, to a pastor at one point, uh, my kids are PK kids. And so tell us about growing up as a PK and the oldest. <laughs> now, I will say this. We used to have some church because I went to church with a couple Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Now, we did have some church. We did have church. Yes, but being the oldest, but being the oldest, whoo, there was a lot of responsibility just fell on me just as being the oldest. And and that is even if you're not a preacher's kid, um, just mm -hmm. being the oldest of and mm -hmm. other siblings, you know, you have a lot of responsibilities. Um, but being the oldest and a PK, woo we. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that mean I carried the load. I carried the load. When I was just, it was just me. Of course, everything was just peaches and cream. It was just me. Right. But then when all my sisters start coming along, woo, I had to be kind of responsible. I had to lead by example. Um, and and it just, it was just kind of, it was very challenging. Um, yeah. Being a preacher's kid, because of course um, we went to church all the time. I think I think almost every day of the week. I, <laughs> I think it was always something going on every day. And yeah. at that time, we just knew to be ready, get ready, be there on time, yeah. and don't say nothing else about it. You just right. be here, and you gonna do what's asked of you, and right. that's just get on that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what made you want to write about that experience? So, what led me to actually um, write about my life growing up as a PK? I just kind of thought about just. I was actually meditating one day, and I was like, "Wow, you know, it's a lot of other children that are preachers' kids that are actually growing up." And I said, "I wonder how would it? How would they feel if I wrote my story about my life?" Um, mm -hmm. And I wanted to take m that story, my story, in a positive direction uh, mm -hmm. versus, you know, in a negative way. Yeah. Because even though, even though I went to church, we went to church almost every day of the week. <laughs> I'm grateful that yeah. just being in church, um, my father being a preacher and a lot of the things that I encountered, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, they call me sanctified lady. That was my nickname. <laughs> now, at the time, I thought that was a curse. I just thought that Did they were talking about me. Yeah. Um, I couldn't do anything. And the only thing they said was, sanctified lady. You mm -hmm. sanctified lady. And my dad took me to the side and he was like, baby, when they said sanctified, that's a blessing. That's mm -hmm. a blessing. Look yeah. that word up. Look that yeah. word up. And so when I looked it up and it just said clean, and I was like, wow. Oh, wow. So it, when I realized that when they was calling me sanctified lady, wow, that yeah. was a blessing. Now, yeah. you know, at the time it was like, stop talking about me. Stop talking yeah. about me. But yeah. then as time went on, I realized that sanctified lady was actually a blessing. Yeah. And people wanted to hang with the sanctified, the sanctified lady. lady. I was so gonna say. I was like, so yeah. I thought about it and I was like, well, okay, Lord, well, I'm going to write about my life. I'm going to write about the stories that happened in my life, about um, just the changes, the challenges, um, to just let them know that guess what? If I can survive, you can survive it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, hey, let's just hang on in there and you can make it out as well. So just looking back now, a lot of the other PKs that I know, they didn't make it out, to be honest. They they didn't survive all of that, you know? So when I look at myself, I consider myself blessed because I was yeah. able to rise above the challenges. So yeah. just writing about my life was just, <laughs> once I got started, it was yeah. just really, it made me look back and I started laughing at a lot of things that yeah. my dad did. And yeah. um, and it was just, it was just really funny, just reflecting uh, yeah. about my life. So yes, that was really, it was really good. Yeah. So, so what would you say is your glory story? And I know we, we, we're going to get to your other book as well, but like, like what, what made you who you are now? What, what is your glory story? And I'm sure you have many stories, but 
Like if you could say, this is what changed me and my life to move in this direction, to write these books, to, to change my community, you know, that, that kind of thing. So my, my glory story is basically realizing my dad always taught me salvation is personal. Your walk with God is personal. My life is personal. It's, it's me. And so when I really realized that this, I'm on a personal walk and a personal journey uh, myself. So when my dad told me that, I re that really stuck to me and it became real to me. And I realized that God loved me just for who I am. Um, and that was big. And yeah. even just being the, yes, Jesus loves me, it may be simple, but when I realized that really Jesus loves me and appreciates me just for who I am, that gave me what I needed in order to reach the masses. So when I sit down with other young teenagers, young girls, as well as young men as well, mm -hmm. I always remind them, be yourself. Yeah. Be who God created you to be. Don't yeah. be like your neighbor. Don't be like your friend. Be you mm -hmm. because God love you for who you are. And when you learn to be yourself, you are able to walk your own journey. You're mm -hmm. able to walk your journey and stay in your lane and not be like the Joneses, like they say. It's because yeah. sometimes we'll try to be like everybody else. We'll try to fit yeah. in this and fit in this because that's what I was trying to do. I was mm -hmm. called the sanctified lady, but I started, I didn't want to be the sanctified lady. I mm -hmm. wanted to fit in with the rest of the crowd. When yeah. they curse, I wanted to curse. When mm -hmm. they went over there, I I wanted to go over there until mm -hmm. I realized that's not me. That's mm -hmm. not who God called me to be. I didn't understand that at that time. But right. now, now I understand that mm -hmm. I need to know that this is my journey. This is my walk. And God loves me right here. Little old me right here for who right. I am today. And so I'm excited about that because, hey, that's how God made me to be. And so yeah. I'm excited. And so that's what I share to others. Yeah. And that's so needed because, you know, people do uh, at any age. And this is just not young people. This is seasoned people, people in their 30s, 40s. You know, people look for acceptance in so mm -hmm. many different places. Yes. And not accepting themselves and saying, you know what, God loves me. Mm hmm. And I think that is so powerful. It's a powerful message that you're delivering. Yes, yes. And Very people powerful. need to be reminded that yes. God loves them just, just where they are, just yes. where they are, you know? Yes. And all the rest of it will come later, but just to know that he loves you right there, right there where you are. Mm -hmm. It'll help move them into the different seasons in their life mm -hmm. so that they don't have to be worried or stressed about what other people think. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to be confident. They'll be able to walk in confidence because they are who they are. Yeah. Powerful. Powerful. Ah. Yes. So that list. is my glory story. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Powerful. Thank you for sharing that. So listen, let's let's switch to the, the other book, uh, Life Essentials. Okay. So what prompted you to, to really write on that subject? And, uh, you know, so what led to that and who is your target audience for it, for that book? OK, so when I was writing my dissertation, um, at first I was going to write on parental involvement. But studies have already shown that parental involvement do uh, help, you know, academic performance with young children. So I was teaching at my college that I teach at and I'm teaching. Um, young adults that's transitioned from high school to their first year of college. Mm -hmm. um, so in teaching that course, my first semester, I just couldn't believe how many Fs those students earned at that time. <laughs> and, and, yes. Uh, yes, I was like, oh my gosh, like what, what is the problem? Oh, there seems yes. to be a breakdown between the transition from high school to the first year of college. Mm. So I was like, wow, what is going on? So as I began to ponder and do more research, I found out that a lot of students that was leaving high school coming to their first year of college, they lack time management. They mm -hmm. lack organization skills. 
they didn't know how to read their college, like their their the schedule of classes. Mm -hmm. Their their campus when they go to the actual campus and they was living on dorm, or if they did live on dorm, they really didn't understand the transition in between. So mm -hmm. this is what led me to write my life essential seminar course book yes. textbook as it is. And this book actually I I teach and try to encourage organization. How how do you be organized? Mm -hmm. Time management. How can you be on time for your for your assignments when your instructor mm -hmm. asks for certain assignments? How can you stay organized and turn those assignments in on time? And then of mm -hmm. course living in the stage now with the mental health mm -hmm. and everything in this course I also teach resiliency. You know, mm -hmm. um how to keep their mental clarity and different things like that, as well as the nutrition. And I also teach on finances because a lot of students, even now I'm teaching now and they really, they are begging me to teach on this, this finances. And I can't wait to get to that topic. But um, a lot of the students, they don't know how to budget their money. Mm -hmm. So this, this, this course, this is what led me to write my Life Essential Seminar course because it is needed. It is needed for the young people as well as, like you stated earlier, the seasoned people. Because sometimes we get away from the basics. Mm -hmm. So teaching this course, this is just awesome. And it's a right now textbook. It's a right now textbook, actually. Yeah. So like how long is it um, if, um, you know, say someone is listening or watching this, this uh, video or listening to the podcast and how long is the course? Could they use it for if they're in a youth organization, they're a coach or a counselor or a case manager? Could this be helpful to them as they work? Yes. With okay. Yes, it's definitely helpful. Um, it's definitely helpful. This uh, actually I was teaching this this uh, course and I was teaching it once a week. So within six weeks. Um, I, it just all depends on how the instructor moves it. Um, but I can actually like teach it for six to eight weeks. And when they complete it, I give them a certificate of completion. Um, mm -hmm. Because in this text, there, there are quizzes after every chapter. Oh, and okay. at the end, there's a, it's a, an exam. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. It's, it's, uh, as well, that's actually written inside of the text. Yeah. Hold, hold so, it up so people can see it a little better. I don't have, great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a six to eight week course, depending on yeah. how they, they go through it in the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I. So have you encouraged? Um, um, I know you mentioned prior to us going live that, you know, you may host a, a Zoom class on it. You may you may host a, a Zoom course on it. So how can people get in touch with you if they're interested in something like that? Or, you know, I don't know if you do train the trainer sessions, but if if that was possible, would you be willing? And if so, how can people reach out and connect with you? Okay. Well, people can definitely connect with me because actually both, um, both books, this Life Essential Seminar course, as well as my Church Girl Daddy's Otis mm -hmm. book, they are both are on Amazon. Uh, so if they wanted to order a, uh, a, or purchase a book, it is it is on Amazon. I also do signed copies as well. So if they want to reach out to me or if they want to purchase it, and mm -hmm. then we can always meet up and I can always sign them as well. Um, but I am on Facebook. It's Dr. Shell, New Season <laughs> on Facebook. And on Instagram, I'm on Instagram as well. And and the same Dr. Shell New Season on mm -hmm. Instagram as well. So um yeah, so if and anybody we, wants information, they can definitely reach out to me as well. Okay. So y'all can DM her on those platforms and we'll have those links um to the books. Um they're in the description if you're watching YouTube and if you're on the podcast, they're also listed in the description there. And um, but you can always um go to the video on YouTube on Sister Story Sessions channel and highlight that link and or click on that link and it'll take you right to those books. And um, and and do do people can people reach you through email as well? Can we put that in there in case? 
Um, someone's listening, a, you know, a teacher or somebody who's like, hey, we, we might need this in our program. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You can reach me by email. My email is boys, B-O-Y-C-E-M-1-5 at gmail.com. Hey, well, yes. yes. yeah. Listen, I've worked with young people. I had the privilege to work at Job Corps for um it was less, it was I'm almost made a year. Okay. <laughs> I almost made a year, Lord Jesus. I hey. love those children so much though when I was there. I love the children. It was, I think we served 16 to 24 years. 24 years old. So I call them kids, but I mean, okay. um, young and young adults, but I love the kids working with them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so I know that this is something that your that life, life essentials, that is so needed in so many arenas. Um, mm -hmm. Because if we can train young people earlier about life skills, yes. Yes. And how to do, like you said, how to do things. Then they become more, um, in terms of adults, <clears throat> as they're transitioning into adulthood, they're better yes. prepared for it. You yes. know, they're just yes. better prepared, and those and those are basic things that they need. It to whether they're going to be a stay-at-home mom or whether they're going to be a career person, whatever they're whatever they're doing, they they don't need those skills. So they don't need the skills. Yes. Yeah. So yes. I, especially with the financial piece. <laughs> Yes, yes. Younger, <laughs> and uh, that 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 I could have, you know, done some different things, but but glory to God, he's he God is good, and he teaches us all along the way. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he does. Good when you can start off and knowing what to do and how to manage, how to invest, and all those things that you know some some of us may not have known it at a younger age, and so yes, yes. Yeah. Well, look, this has been so great. So y'all make sure y'all click on that, those links, purchase these books, especially if you're a PK or you listen, you know, it's always good to hear somebody else's journey. Yes. Because it helps you know that you can make it through. That's why yeah. I say our stories are so important. That's why we have this podcast, because your story is so important. Somebody needs to hear it. And you can hear it and you can all, you can always read her book. So she has put a book mm -hmm. out. She's sharing her story to help bless your life and to help. She can tell you how she's overcome some things, how she's gone through some things and how she don't look like what she's been through. We were talking about that earlier. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the Lord has been so gracious and so good. Yes. Yes. And so um, and I, I want to encourage every everyone who's working with young people, especially if you're working with young people, get this Life Essentials course. I mean, I believe this is going to be like this could really help there's not there are not enough tools out there um and she's done the research she's doing it she's she's mm -hmm. actually teaching this and yes. to her young people uh at, at the college right and so y'all yes. y'all yes. need to get this it's working it because there is a huge gap and that, that because that information is it just isn't taught and, and we need it taught and I need to be very intentional about that. So y'all get this book, okay? If you're working with young people, I encourage you. So anyway, Michelle, thank you so much. I don't, I'm, I've already gone over time with you, but thank you so much for being here. Um, you're such a blessing to 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 my life. It's just so good to see you. It just made my yes, heart. Yes, likewise. And, I'm so um, honored, I'm, so honored. Yeah, so glad you're sharing your, your glory story, your God's, your story, God's glory, because all glory always belong to God. For yes. All done yes. all that he allows us to do and Amen. you've always been one of those people from from the day i met you you were a leader like you were a true leader like people gravitated towards you and um that's right. And because um, <laughs> you were just so, you were just sweet, cool, and talked to everybody, and made everybody feel like you know, like they was your cheering. Because <laughs> I always say, you know, you kind of watched out for me. <laughs> and and I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Yes. Being my and and still connecting, and the love is still there, and that's always a good thing. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited. Yeah. So listen, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in for My Story, God's Glory. We've been with Dr. Michelle Boyce. She is a blessing to the body of Christ. And listen, y'all get those books, okay? And until then, I'll see y'all next time and y'all be good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs>